What's up, guys? It's your boy Breeze here, bringing you a little free for all. It's gonna be on uh, hijacked, and uh, yeah. So today I'm just gonna do a commentary. It's pretty quick. Um, really sad ordeal in the state. If you didn't hear about it, it's uh, out of Dallas, Texas, and I actually live in a town called Wichita Falls, which is about two hours north, a little over. Um, and I go to Dallas frequently. Actually, where if you didn't hear. There was a um, Black Lives Matter protest, and um, some people decided to perch themselves up on top and snipe as many police officers as they could, which is extremely pussy, you know, sniping into a large crowd like that, where they didn't have defense, you know, sniping in warfare is generally against your enemy, where, um, you know, you're, it's long distance, whatever, I don't know, one of the guys had like an AR-15, so I'm not even sure sniping is the correct term. <clears throat> but they showed a video of him just shooting somebody point blank. I believe it was an officer and then just emptying a full clip into him. So that's just hate. I mean, you know, there's nothing to that. It's just hate. And um, it's sad, you know. It's kind of... Our country is in a little bit of turmoil right now. And I get the backlash from the two killings that happened, you know, in Minnesota. Baton Rouge and then Minnesota. You know, they there's a lot to those. And um, I'm not sure if they were justified shootings or not. Um, you know, my part, my prayers go out to the families of both of those individuals. Um, but at the same time, Hostile. you know, Above. just uh, shooting cops randomly when they're trying to aid in a peaceful protest is kind of crazy. It's not kind of crazy. It is crazy. So, you know, my dad, having been an officer, police officer for 30 plus years, he actually ended up being a detective the last 10 or so. For the um, <coughs> DEA, but um, you know, police officers put their line on the life every day, and they see some scummy stuff. They see like the horrible, horrible living conditions. You know, not all, and they all, you know, they see the worst in people. Um, so they constantly have a, they have a job where they constantly have to be looking over their shoulder. Now, you know, I'm not making excuses for the two shootings. You know, that's bad. I'm just in general, saying that cop police officers do have a pretty tough job. And it's scary, you know, you don't know. They could go out and they don't know if they're coming home or not. Just from a simple traffic stop or anything, really. You know, a taillight out. But, you know, just a sad day in America. Um, so I hope everybody pray to somebody, you know, whoever you pray to, the universe, God, any religion, whatever, that um, America as a whole will figure it out and we'll figure out that, you know, and I know you've seen this all over. Hate won't drive out hate. Martin Luther King said something to the effect of that, which is true. Um, and it's again, it's just a sad day. But um, yeah, so prayers for everybody that was involved in that, the officers, and then the two individuals that were shot by officers uh, in the days leading up to this. Prayers for their families as well. Um, and a little bit of something else I want to talk about. It's a little less saddening is the um, CSGO Lotto uh, situation. So apparently T. Martin and Syndicate are being sued and um, it looks like they can't talk about it anymore, you know, and I noticed T. Martin uploaded an apology video and somebody hit it right on the nail. Uh, right, hit, <laughs> he hit the nail right on the head. He just said until you address the I found this website, quote unquote, uh, then you know, nobody's going to trust you. All your trust loses its... All your words lose their validity, pretty much. And which is true. I mean... Shit. Like, he said, oh, I happened to find this website. Really? You own it. You didn't find it. You know, it's crazy to me. Um, obviously, there are worse things going on right now than a couple YouTubers that bought a gambling site. But... For them, it could be a big deal, um, you know, if it leads to prosecution or charges are filed, and then it could, you know, legal fees alone could be a lot, and then if they actually have to go to trial, they're more, and they may have to pay a debt or pay a fine. I'm not sure. It's just, just a number of things that could go uh, wrong with that. But anyway, this is Chris Breeze. I am out. I was going to upload a mini today, but I uh, figured I would just throw this up real quick, and then... School work, I'm off tomorrow, so I'm going to be doing school, and then I'll throw up a mini, which I've got ready. I just got to get it edited, and I'm also having 
a cool designer make a little intro for me so you guys might see that on the next video either way this is Chris Breeze I am out as always have a great day and uh, say a prayer for America alright adios